Hello guys, in this tutorial, I'm back to show you now how to customize the graphical user interface GUI main menu. So, we're going to learn how to make change these buttons text and add color to them. So for this, you're going to want to open up the GUI main menu button. I'll just close that in my sets. So you're going to want to come down to init GUI. Scroll down, you can see some custom message. Blah blah blah. I'll scroll down, down, you'll see this. Now, I changed this button to theme. So, corresponding button. This used to be a uh, uh, texture pack so how I did the colors I added this now this translates it to a color change this to settings and then we have options and rage quit now if you didn't notice I'll uh, start this back up again there used to be a little button here. I actually removed that. So I don't have that anymore. So for example, I really want that to stop showing up down there. Um I'm just gonna go let's say theme. I'm gonna put it to f um let's put it to nine. I'm gonna hit the bug. And look, the colors changed to the same one as that. Now let's do like pick a color you like. You have to just guess and check. Uh pretty much a fan of the color three. So I'm just gonna go with three. And then rage quit, blah blah blah. Now if you wanna change where it says Minecraft do not uh, modify etc the little bottom bar you're going to want to scroll down to here and you're going to want to locate where it says string variable string bar 9 is equal to so that's the little line on the left side of the client so that's this line. Now you want to modify this one. So you're going to go bar 10. And then, of course, you could go in here and modify anything you want. Like it. I go and see solo. And uh, add single player and multiplayer buttons commands. So where I modified single player and multiplayer. Then there's the demo, which I'm pretty sure they removed, but there's still demo options in here. And yeah, and by the way, if you click this button here, you can run it in debug mode. So if you make a change, let's say I change MC Solo to MC Soloed, I'm going to save that. It's not going to appear. I'm going to click this. I'm going to go back. It's right there. So it's live changes. And like you see the theme there, everything. Change it to your liking. Next, you're gonna wanna go to here. You see that all the these some of these buttons are changed. You can see that actually if I go you go here, I actually changed I actually put in a default seed for everything. Just to make it easier. In here, it's basically just blank information. And now, what you're going to want to do is I'm just going to scroll to the top of this. Go GUI in game menu. Now, in game menu, this is what you're going to see in here. So, So let's say I'm just like walking here. 
and I hit the escape key, this is what you're going to see here. So I then open the LAN, I said make public, and then options, inception is the achievements, then there's stats, so your statistics, resume is there, then uh, play or whatever it said, and then fuck this shit, save me, so I then save and click the title, and then cheat settings. If you click this, there's a simple GUI which I'm going to teach you guys how to make in that later video. So let's go to here. So it's pretty simple GUI in game menu. I imported my menu since I have a GUI menu, but you don't need to since you didn't create this yet. You can go down to init GUI, translate to local. You can see the save me key. The resume options, make public, inceptions, and stats. You can colorize these. Then I added a new button, which is cheat settings. I add it with the button 10. I'm going to put this link, this code, in the description and uh, to add it because it's very easy. But once you add it, if you clicked it, you couldn't do anything. So, we're going to scroll down here, and it's going to say K7. Now, since we gave this button ID, button ID 10, we're going to go break this, and then we're going to go case 10, mc.displayGUI screen, and then I put main type, because, uh, I go into this I have a main type class which draws this but uh you could do something else like texture pack so let's say I go new texture packs or whatever the fuck it is you can do something like that. I'm just going to keep it here. Because I also binded the up arrow to this. So getting back to this, you could do GUI achievements, stats, share to LAN, anything you wanted. Even the main menu if you really wanted to. And uh, now we're going to move on here. You've seen all this stuff in here. And GUI in game. Now, this is where it gets cool. So, um, you're gonna start up here, you're gonna scroll down until to do the player dot is motion active. Da, da, da. Player dot means the profiler. I'm gonna scroll down until about where I was. So I'm just going to hit the down arrow key, so and if mc.gamesettings.showdebugmode, so this.mc.gamesettings.showdebug mode in GUI ingame.java. You're going to see Minecraft 1.4.7, scroll down, down, down. Now I'm going to teach you how to do this display this right here so it's pretty simple if hacks dot gui here I'll rewrite it let me just comment this out if hacks dot gui and then we're gonna have two brackets so opening and a closing make sure to put the closing one I'm gonna go variable eight so var eight dot draw string with shadow I'm just gonna close that out now this is what you want it to say so let's go tutorial part two and now these are basically the coordinates of so two twelve and then the color zero x zero zero ff zero zero if I save this, you can already see that that has changed right there. So now, I want 
to go. Money. So it looks like I want to say money right there. Change. But I want it to say what I asked it to. So I'm going to go like this. You can always turn it off. And now, that's basically it. This is just that check key to um, open up the little menu. So if I go like that, it will open up that. That's all that does. Let's see what else we can do here. Not a lot, so... Uh, Now, oops. I'm going to have to cut that part out because I showed the no clip code, but uh, let's go. Actually, I'm just going to hide that, so. Click block. Okay, so if hacks.me through this is in player controller MP this file right here if hacks on new current this dot current game type is creative so if we're in creative mode for int x is zero x and then the bracket going this way make sure that's like that for x plus plus for int y is equal to zero y and then the same bracket and then for again y plus plus basically doing this for x y and z and then you're gonna add this code which will be in the description and then this dot click block creative for this you must be in creative mode now that we've added that new curve we're gonna go over here we're gonna click debug mode and we're gonna run it As you can see, it nukes it, and you can just keep going down, all the way down as much as you like. I just prefer to jump down, and then you'll reach better off soon. I'll turn on the light so you can see where you are. And, uh, oh, did I have a noise? Nice. Uh -huh. And uh, here is where you'd want to chop it off there, and there you go. That's nuking right there. And you can also nuke everything on your way up. I like to nuke when I don't know where I am, so I can just go all the way up without any issues. And then I can turn off fly, and yeah, there you go. That was basic GUI and programming some of these. So uh, feel free to pause the video now. Don't know where this is. It's right above, so right below us. Uh, Click block in the player controller mp.java. If you have any questions, just comment. Please comment, rate, and subscribe for more. Thanks.